but get up. Hey, I'm in Kajado town. Kajado, I think we are in Kajado Central because our our governor is Ole Ole Lenko. Yeah, that's the only thing I know. I don't know about my area MP. I don't know about anything that goes on here politically. So I, I was just walking and then I saw something uh, about uh, Kajado. Let me show you something to consider before buying land in Kajato. You see, this is a dumping site. Then, there are children living here. We even have a church here. Yeah, we have kids. We have a school. I think it's a nursery school. And then, a primary school and everything. So, when they burn dust from this dumping site, all the smokes, smokes or smoke, all the smoke, the smoke comes this side to your house. Then they spoil your lung, air pollution, and everything. Another thing you should check if the roads are passable. You, know, you see, you have beautiful roads here, Maram Road. Yeah. Then we have our rich neighborhood. But the problem with, with this area, air pollution. Yeah. So when you are buying a land, make sure. You are far, far away from uh, things like dumping sites and so on. Yeah, you will be safe with your kids because nowadays we have uh, chronic diseases. We have this everything like asthma, just get uh, lung cancer. I don't know. Yeah, this is the cause. It causes a lot of diseases. Now we have some land here. This guy he bought a land and fenced it. You see, very nice. You buy a land, you fence, and then there are these people don't have brains. They'll just come smoke and throw the cigarette filter anywhere. And then look up there at the aftermath. Yeah, everything is burnt. Everything is burnt. Uh, 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 uh. This is so. This is terrible. Look at that. And it's dangerous, yeah? So guys, when you're smoking, make sure you mind about you mind about others. Don't just smoke your cigarette, you throw the filter anywhere you are passing. Just take your filter, put it down, step on it. Once it's off, yeah, we save the environment. Because look, what what's this? What's this? Someone's land. Yeah? Uh, 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 uh. This is so bad. Kajado people, we can do better. We can do better, man. Yeah, be a responsible uh, neighbor. Make sure you are doing the right thing at the right time. Yeah. Another, uh, then another thing you uh, should consider. Funny thing about Kajado. The other side, we have fresh water. This side. The water is very salty. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, we are in Kajado. The same town, same everything. You see, like, like, like this area, just, just the same, yeah? But the other side, when you dig a borehole, the water is fresh. This side, when you dig a, a borehole, the water is salty. Very salty, yeah? Even if you are using a uh, soap, it doesn't... Uh, dissolve well with soap but the other side we have fresh water so most of the guys they buy fresh water from the other side for using like cooking tea uh, drinking for everything even uh, washing the cloth for the other stuff like flushing the toilet we get our water from this side yeah and everyone has their own borehole you see borehole is everywhere Here in Kajado if you want to live here permanently, make sure you have extra cash for borehole. <laughs> yeah. And then it's raining. It started raining yesterday. So by next week, the grass will be green. The cows will feel good. Yeah. Even us, we're going to feel nice because the environment is green. Yeah. This is where we call Kajado. Another thing to consider, electricity. Yeah. You are buying this land here. Do you have electricity? Do you have electricity everywhere? Yeah? So make sure you have uh, electricity ready. Like, 
if you buy a land here you just need like a wire that goes to your house and then you get electricity and then everything will be okay yeah so come to Kajado Kajado is beautiful Kajado is growing Kajado is the uh, place to be yeah look at this also he has borehole so we are saving a lot of money because when you have a borehole you can distribute the water to your, your residence or your how do you call them uh, your tenants yeah people are building a beautiful house look at this one like this guy he took our electricity from here look what is this yeah so make sure you have electricity and then you have a borehole and then the good thing about kajado it's very hot always hot you always like we have 12 months in a year but it only rains like let's say two months so in uh, 10 months you have uh sunlight so when you have solar you can use solar to pump water from from the borehole and then you'll be saving a lot because you are using the natural sunlight to pump the water to pump the natural water from the soil or from the borehole and then you distribute it to your tenants at the end of the month tenants will be paying you some money like if you, you are using like three units five units times let's say 200 Kenya shillings per unit and someone uses like 10 units that's 2,000 Kenya shillings imagine 2,000 Kenya shillings times like if, if you have like 10 houses 20 houses you'll be making a lot of money at the end of the month you get the money from the rent ah I like this guy this guy is very wise he has solar I hope you can see it look at the solar here is the solar ah here nice you see yes borehole borehole plus solar so he's saving a lot of money in kajado you have to use solar yeah let me show you we have a lot of guys here in kajado who have solars yeah they are using solars because they are saving a lot of cash from electricity electricity is very expensive yeah like 1,000 uh, Kenya shillings, you get like 32 units or 20 units or 10 units. I don't know. Yeah. Look at this guy. Solar. Solars are everywhere. Solars are everywhere. Yeah. In Kajado. So when you come to Kajado, make sure you have a solar. Solar panels are easily available everywhere around the country. Yeah. If, if you have a, how do you call it, a company that supplies solar, you can. Link me up with one I want to buy for my mom, yeah? She doesn't have to use electricity every time she's doing this and this. And we have free sunlight everywhere in, in Kajado. Free sunlight, free water. <laughs> yeah? So I just want to tell you about Kajado. How to survive in Kajado and avoid pollution. Yeah? yeah. Take care of yourself. Borehole. <laughs> Hey, 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 these guys, yeah, in Kajado, you have to use your Buruwain. If you don't use your Buruwain, my friend, you are finished. You'll be using a lot of cash. Even this one is a borehole here. We get our water from here. We get our water from here, from these, uh, from these guys. And it's very cheap uh, because we are neighbors. Uh, a lorry cost, uh, I think, 1,000 Kenya shillings. Imagine a full lorry, but it's salty water. Yeah, so we buy a full lorry for 1,000 Kenya shillings because we are neighbors. If we are not neighbors, I think we'll be paying almost 2,000 or 2,500 or 3,000. Yeah, but because we are neighbors, he always uh, gives us a discount. Yeah, for be for being a good neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. Yeah. This is Kajado. Look at the beautiful houses in Kajado. Beautiful houses in Kajado. So I'll see you 
on the next one. So subscribe. I don't sell lands, so don't uh, DM me. How can I get a land in Kagadu? No, I don't sell lands. You can use someone else. Uh, maybe agents who sell land in Kajado and then you can use them. But for now, I don't sell lands. I don't know anyone who sells uh, lands in Kajado. I don't do landing in Kajado. Bye-bye. <laughs>